Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Bloom Outdoors. So if you guys just checked out the last video, we actually just got done filming that. So in that video, you would know we have gotten a rear diff cover that we cannot return, but we have to self-destroy it. So to do that, we're out here shooting it. Uh, I actually ordered it for my new truck. So if you guys are familiar with the channel, you know that truck is a 2018 F-150. Bought a rear diff cover for it. Tried making a video, tried installing it, but it ended up being broken. Basically, I didn't post a video and everything was kind of downhill. Basically, I can't return it, but I have to self-destroy it in order to get the money back. So we shot it with a 17, a 5.56, and a 30-06. So if you guys want to know what happened or how many rounds it took to go through, or if we made it through, go check out that video. But anyways, we've got that same rear diff cover set up. We're gonna put it at about 100 yards, I think. Maybe 150, I don't know yet. We'll probably do 150 just to be safe. But we wanna try and totally blow it up, totally get rid of this thing. So I went <laughs> to the store and bought this. We got a bunch of Tannerite. We're gonna try and blow it up. So we've got 10 of the half pound uh, Tannerite packs. I have never used this stuff. My buddy's with me. He said he has used it before. We're gonna go ahead, get this stuff mixed up, show you guys how to mix it up, because I've never even used it before, so I don't know what we're what we're messing with or what we're dealing with here. But we're gonna go ahead, try and get it set up and mixed up and everything, get this thing set up. We're gonna shoot it with the 30-06 and see what will happen to this rear diff cover. All right, we'll open this up. We'll grab our packs out here. Dude, this stuff looks like dipping dots. Well, guys, that sucks. Apparently, I forgot to record. All of that, I thought I hit the button, but apparently I didn't. So, it came with 10 of these half pound things, and then it came with a bunch of these little silver packets, as well as this mixing container. So what we did was, you take this out of here, you pour it into the mixing container, dump one of these packets in, mix it up for like 30 seconds or a minute until it turns this color, and you just pour it back in here, and then, we did the same thing with the other one. It took like two minutes to do. Super easy. So now that we've got these all mixed up, we're gonna go down there, get the target set up and everything. Shoot it with a center fire rifle instead of a rim fire rifle. So like don't shoot it with your 17 or 22. We're gonna go ahead and shoot it with our 30-06. We should be totally good to roll. You're supposed to shoot just one of these right on the orange here is what it says. But we're gonna try and set two next to each other. Just shoot one of them and we'll hope the other one will blow up with it because we wanna make sure this cover this rear diff cover blows up and there's nothing left of it. So we're gonna go down about 150 yards, get this guy set up with the GoPro there and we'll shoot it. And hopefully our GoPro does not blow up <laughs> with it. Hopefully we can get that back. So anyways, let's just go get this thing set up and we'll get to shooting and hope this thing is destroyed. All right, here we go, we are all set up. I got a GoPro down there. It's like five or 10 yards away. I can just barely see it. It's right down there. There's a little white spot for where the box is. It's about 150 yards. We got it sitting on top of the box with the Tannerite underneath. So if you guys never see the GoPro footage, the GoPro blew up or flew away and we never found it. Here we go. We have got this all set up. You can see our cover here, what it looks like. We've got a bunch of bullet holes in it. We've got some that go all the way through in there, kind of through here and through up there. And we've got a couple down here. We've got some holes that go all the way through. We've got it sitting on the box it came in, and then we've got our Tannerite right down there. You can see the orange. We've got two of them. We'll just try and hit one, and um, hopefully they'll both end up going off just by hitting one. Can't really figure out a better way to set this thing down, so it kind of looks like a turtle sticking its head up or something. He knocked it over. Just to let you guys know, my camera just overheated and died. We moved it to about 110 yards or so. You can see it. It's about right there. It's really hot out, I'm really sweaty. Must have just barely missed because the two tannerites there flew in the mud. Yeah, you can see on the inside of the plate where you hit it. Yeah. So, get it set back up. Try one more time again, I guess. Try number three or four or something. I think you totally missed. All right, here we go. Take number six, I think. Missed again. All right, hopefully we got it figured out. We set up the cans a little different, or the little containers, the Tannerite a little different. We got them side by side instead of spread out. So they're side by side, and we hopefully, thinks he knows where he's aiming now. <laughs> Missed. All right, let's go look. Because we only got one shot left. All right, there's a bunch of mud in the front and behind it and everything. Our conclusion is he's been shooting too low, going through the box, when we told him to aim lower. 
you hit the mud. So he's been going through the box every time. Need to bring it up a smidge. We've got one round of 30-06 left to be able to hit this. If he can't do it, I guess he's got to move closer with the AR, and hopefully he can hit it. Otherwise, I don't know. He's going to have to throw a knife at it or something. All right. Last All right. Down. Here we go. Last round with the 30-06. Going to aim a little bit high this time, see if he can put it on. If not, going to have to go with the AR. <laughs> AR time. Ran out of 30 out six rounds, so now he's using the AR with open sights. We're at a little over 100 yards, probably 110 or so. Ready when you are. I think you are over. All right, we'll get a little closer. Oh, you knocked it over. Try again. Knocked it over. Try to shoot that tin right. Sure, if you can hit it. I can't. There we go. You can do it with no diff cover on it. One shot with no diff cover, and you can shoot it. Wow. All right, let's go see what happened. We'll see what happened here. Here's our GoPro. It looks like the box totally got destroyed here. Um, and there is our other partially opened thing, a Tannerite. And it looks like that diff cover is just fine, isn't it? Yeah. We've got two new things of Tannerite mixed up. We've got our cover sitting right there. You can see it, the box blew up on the last one but the cover wasn't even there. So we've got the cover sitting there straight up and down with the face of it, or the front of it facing us. And we've got both of the things at Tannerite stacked on top of each other, right in front of it. Here Hopefully well. it'll blow up this time. There we go. See that can way up in the air? Yeah, looks like I'm <laughs> flying. Oh yeah, it did. There we go, let's go check it out. Finally, how many rounds you got left? I don't know. That's where I shot the pull, the, pull that mag out and look. Zero? None, so there's one left in the, one chamber. in the chamber. So you went through two full mags, right? Yep. Minus one. So, 59 rounds of AR ammo, plus I think it was 20 shots or no, a little less, it was about 16 or so. About 15 shots at 30-06. Jeez, 75 shots to hit a target at 100 yards. Need to practice a little more, huh? All right, here is our conclusion. It was sitting in front of the target and it did not do much. Blew a hole in the ground. So, it was sitting right here in front of it. It looks like we didn't even do anything to it. All this stuff was still here from before. I don't know how else we would have sat this thing up. The Tannerite really didn't do anything. It just made a big boom in front of it. So not too much happened, I guess. Not as cool as we thought it would be. Doesn't even look like there's any deformation or anything on the plate. Looks like the only thing that happened was from the bullet holes in the last video. Kind of disappointing, but we got to see it boom. You got anything to say about it? Other than you suck? Piss poor shooting. Took him almost 75 shots. And 100 yards, we were at the truck, 100 yards away, and we had to move to 75, so you could get better shots on it. Even Sad. so, still took you about 40 rounds. Sad day. Sad day. Need some target practice. Unfortunately. Well, guys, I guess that's about it for today's video. Uh, if you guys have any more requests of anything you guys want to see done to this diff cover, whether it be blown up, shot, lit on fire, driven over, burnout done on it, anything. <laughs> arrow shot at it that won't even do anything but i don't know if you guys got any other requests for torture tests you guys want to see done to this let me know in the comments down below and we will make it happen because we're just going to destroy this thing and see what it can be put through uh, that's about it so as always thanks for watching another video of bloom outdoors don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we will catch you guys next time